Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in the Eastwood Garage doing another live tech session for you guys. As always, I want you guys to join in on the chat and uh, we can answer your questions live here. So uh, we have Scott, as always, manning the chat. Yep, on Facebook, on YouTube. So if you guys have questions, make sure you ask it and hopefully all of you had a happy 4th of July because I know I sure did. All right, so today we are going to be talking about the uh, parts washer and uh, just wanted to go over kind of our different offerings and, and answer some of the questions that... Uh, we see on the webpage on the uh, on the Q and A, as well as some stuff that Scott sees as well when he's doing uh, tech calls and his team. Uh, we get some of those calls, so I want to answer those for you guys as well. So um, our biggest parts washer we have here is our 20 gallon uh, parts washer. This one is nice if you have the space for sure in the corner. This is the best one uh, to get as far as getting the most done at one shot. Uh, so with this unit, it comes with a tray and, and, and a little basket as well for washing small parts. And this is one that we've used pretty extensively, and we, we cleaned it out just so you guys could see what uh, everything looks like today. Um, so we have the basket, and we have this tray here. I don't know if Joe can get in uh, a little closer on that. We'll try in a second um, to get in and show you guys just some of the features of this particular unit. So... This is the little basket, of course, that has some slots cut in it so that as you're washing small parts like hardware, uh, you can do that with this without them getting thrown all over, the, all over the parts washer. Now also, it has this tray in here, which is really nice for if you're doing medium-sized parts, but if you're doing large parts, like if you need to do a transmission case or something like that, uh, this is actually removable. So you can pull this out, and this gives you the full working area of this particular parts washer. Now the nice thing about, about this one as well is it also has the brush that actually has the uh, solution is going to be flowing through the brush as you're cleaning, which really makes it nice you're not having to dip the part in and, and clean it around. Now the pump is a uh, one gallon per minute pump um, that's actually built into the bottom of this. It has a filter built in as well, which is really nice. Uh, and the filter is reusable, so you can wash the filter out and continue to reuse it. Um, if generally it doesn't really go bad as long as you're careful when you re, re, uh, reuse it and clean it. And the last thing is it's really, uh, I like, that makes your life a lot easier. It has a drain plug in the bottom of this. Uh, not all units have that. So you can actually put a bucket underneath it here and if you need to drain out your old solution or if it starts getting really full of gunk, if you did something that was really dirty, uh, you can pull that drain plug out, let it run into a bucket, pull it out, and you're not trying to tilt the whole thing over. Um, and for a safety design on this one, it actually has a fusible link built in, which is pretty nice. So if there's a fire occurs in this for some odd reason, uh, there's a fusible link that will automatically close the lid in a hurry if there is a fire, which is a pretty nice little safety feature. So that's our large one that we offer. Uh, the next one down is our three and a half gallon. Uh, this one is a great bench top unit. Now again, this is a metal uh, construction. This isn't plastic that's going to break easily or deteriorate over time. Uh, this one as well has a metal tray on the inside here that can be removed, uh, which is kind of important on the smaller one because space is at a premium. So you can pull this guy out real quick and easy like that. And you can also, uh, it has the pump on it that's built in, does not have the brush which is a, a feature of the larger one, uh, but it does have the, uh, the little hose here that you can bend in any direction so you can flow it over top of your parts, which is really nice. Uh, again, this is a three and a half gallon. Uh, you can put a minimum of about a gallon and a half of solution in this. Uh, so it does not take a lot of solution to actually run on this particular one, which is, which is pretty nice. Uh, it keeps it light, so if you want to move it around the, the, uh, the shop, if you want to put it underneath your workbench, if you only keep about two gallons in it, it's not real heavy, um, and you can continue to move it without too much of an issue. So, any questions, Scott? Sure. We have a good one over here. Nico asked, uh, what kind of solution do you want to run in these units? Uh, good. So the solution that we suggest with all of our all of the ones that we're talking about today, our parts washer, you want something that does not have solvent in it. You want like a water-based cleaner, uh, which kind of leads into my next part of this. So uh, the couple of cleaners that we suggest, we have our metal wash, which we've offered for quite some time here. Um, and I'll get in so Joe can see it. If, if you guys saw, we did a little tumbler uh, bit 
earlier, uh, maybe it was last week, I think. So this is just a um, something you can add to your water. So you can put your, like the small one, you could put your two gallons of water in there and then you can add this to the water. And this is great for a cleaning agent. Um, this is not something that's going to be extremely harmful as far as uh, the pump goes or also with fumes or anything like that. Uh, but you do not want to run solvents through these. It definitely will kill the life of the pump and uh, could void your warranty, unfortunately. But uh, so use a water base. The other one that we have that's really nice, um, this is great. Our oil eater that we offer, the oil eater. This is really nice because this stuff um, it has a bunch of uses. You can put in a spray bottle, you can clean your garage floor, you can clean, clean parts, or you can add it to the parts washer. And what it does is it actually separates the grease and oil from the part. And it actually, once you let it settle, it will float all the oil and contaminants to the top and you can actually skim it off at the end of the day. So that's really nice as far as separating it. You almost don't have to drain it out like you would traditionally and sift it. You can just let this uh, do its thing and then you can just take a little skimmer and uh, skim it off the top and use it. So this stuff's really great. Uh, you can dilute it if you'd like to. Um, so you can put in some water and put in a gallon of this and it, and it still will work very well. So that's a good question. Any other questions? We're All good. Right. Um, the last one I have to show you guys and this is if you really have, if space is an issue or you're not doing a lot of parts cleaning or maybe you're, you're just doing a small job and you don't need something as permanent um, and you want something obviously it's affordable. We've recently come out with a parts washer that fits on a five gallon bucket which is as simple as it gets and also affordable. So this guy has the size in the bottom here with this lip is made to fit basically any uh, five gallon bucket and this slips down catches over the edge of that and then what it does is it has holes in the bottom of it so you can wash your parts right here in the little bucket as it's or on the tray as it's sitting in the bucket and you allow your uh, of course your pump is going to sit down in there and that will uh, that will suck it up and will allow you to uh, wash your parts as normal it has little suction cups on the bottom so they can stick to the side of the bucket or on the bottom however you'd like. So this again is a one gallon per minute pump. So it's just like you would see with the other ones. Um, so that's similar uh, as far as the capacity and what it can do for flowing the fluid. Uh, it's about the same. So that's really handy uh, to do. So we kind of give you an, an option depending on your size uh, of your shop as well as your price range. It's really nice. You can kind of get the same thing accomplished, but obviously depending on the parts you're doing, uh, if you want to do something larger like an engine, a transmission, um, or uh, stuff that's that's a little bit bigger. You're gonna you're gonna be using something like the, this larger one here, the 20 gallon. But if all you're gonna be doing is hardware brackets, things like that, you just want to get clean. Uh, one of these two will definitely do the job and, and suit your needs. Any other questions we got, Scott? No other questions, but also just to say that uh, the oil eater, we also have that in five gallon uh, pails as well. So if you're doing something large like the 20 gallon, don't worry, you don't have to order you know 15 or 20 of the one gallons. You can pick <laughs> yeah. up in five gallons, and it makes shipping and handling a whole lot easier for you. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So uh, we have all the links for all the different products here, right? If you're on eastwood.com, uh, it's right on the landing page uh, where you can watch the video. If you're viewing this on uh, Facebook or YouTube, we will usually drop uh, links right in the comments there that you guys can click through and see all of those products. As always, we have videos and a lot of pictures and more details of all of our products right on the product page. So if you have some more questions, uh, you may be able to find that right on the specs on the page. Or of course, we have a Q&A section where you can drop a comment, uh, ask a question, and Scott or one of his crew will uh, gladly answer that for you uh, in a timely manner. Any other questions? That's it? Cool. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us today and watching this. Uh, as always, we do uh, live tech sessions Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And if you're interested in what we got going for the daily deals, make sure you check us out 8.30 a.m. Monday through Friday. We're doing a quick little uh, live demo of the product that we're doing for our uh, daily deal. So thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you later.